Since I started talking about Meghan Markle's marriage with Trevor Ingleson, a lot of people have pointed out that she was actually married before. And this is exactly what we want to find out today. I found a very interesting video. We're making some commentary and letting you guys know exactly what is happening from the best of my research and understanding. Let's take a listen. Suppose most of you have heard the rumor that Meghan Markle has married not two but three times. Before Prince Harry and her divorced husband Trevor Engelson she is said to have married a lawyer called Joe Giuliano or in full, Joseph Goldberg Giuliano. However the marriage was annulled, because the groom's parents were against it. Even it is true, it doesn't sound like a real big scandal. After all it is already well known that Meghan is a divorcee. However, a far more spectacular story is that there was also a daughter born out of this relationship. So far these have just been rumors and no hard proof has been presented. There are no documents of the marriage. When it comes to the daughter involved in this marriage, I have done some research and found out that the husband Joe, he actually accused Meghan Markle of being infertile and that was the main reason why he annulled the marriage. Because Meghan Markle, yes, she is so deceptive she is such a liar that when she got married with Joe, she did not tell him that she could not have kids. Wedding photos and no trace of the alleged daughter. But does this mean that it has all been made up? The problem is that it does not sound like a typical invented story. Why would something invent an annulled marriage and why would he use the name Joseph Goldberg Giuliano? Nowadays he lives in Boston. But according to his CV between 1999 and 2003 Joseph Goldberg Giuliano was studying at the Northwestern University, exactly those years when Meghan was there. They are said to have had a relationship for two years. Is it possible that they were married and even had a daughter together? It sounds as if it the marriage was a very private ceremony, as not even the groom's parents were informed. To answer to that question, if she had a daughter with Joe, the answer to that question would be most likely not. However, there are some pictures that show otherwise. It is alleged that that picture, the one that is being circulated on the internet, claiming to be Megan's daughter from Joe, is actually from Samantha Markles. I could think of the following scenario. Because Megan is pregnant she and Joe decide to get married by a Catholic priest with only some witnesses present. When Joseph tells his parents, they are shocked and convince him to have the marriage annulled. They offer Megan a certain sum of money and promise that they will take care of the child. I admit that this is speculation, and the most controversial point is of course the existence of a daughter. It is very weird that Prince Harry has never met his father-in-law. You normally do so before you marry and why would a member of royal family violate the etiquette in such a rude way? Thomas Markle doesn't live in palace, he is overweight and not an elegant gentleman like Prince Charles. On the other hand he was successful in his job and even won an Emmy award. Moreover she seems to have been a good father, who did everything for his daughter. Could it be that Meghan simply didn't want him to meet Harry? Could this be possible that Meghan Markle, she threatened Joe to take to the court, fight him if he opens his mouth? Is that a possibility? Especially when Meghan was researching the prince online and found out that the prince is now duped. So I can now go ahead and marry him. At that stage, did Meghan contact Joe told him that, look, if you open your mouth, I'm going to sue you. Now, another thing that I have noticed, which might be the case, might not be the case, but sounds to me, Joe, he is someone who is very, very religious. Somebody who goes to the church, his family, they are very, very religious. The reason he wanted to marry Meghan Markle was to please his family because his family would be very upset with him if he has a daughter with somebody without marriage. So this is what appears to me might be the case we do not know but one thing i can tell you and one thing i can sense at this point which is that joe is a very nice a very soft guy and why was apart from her mother none of her relatives at her wedding 
You normally invite your own family and not complete strangers and I am sure they would have loved the experience of a royal wedding. Was she afraid that they could talk too? In the latest news, Meghan Markle has been urged to apologize to the UK and think about a different career after her failed attacks on the monarchy. Sussex returned to the UK to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, a mark of the Queen's 70 years on the throne. Their anticipated return marked the couple's first public engagement with the firm. My final point is this. There are many possible scenarios that took place with Meghan's first marriage. Number one is that she wiped out all kind of pictures, communications with Joe. And that happened before, probably before when she got married with Harry or maybe during the dating uh, phase. Nevertheless, we can say that Meghan Markle would definitely go ahead and try to bully Joe. As I said, he's, he sounds to me like a religious guy, very soft guy. To get rid of all of the evidences that Harry might find very awkward to look at. Number two scenario is that Meghan Markle then jumped to Trevor Ingleson with the hope that she could make a name for herself in the, in the, in the showbiz. Obviously that did not happen. So we see that the first marriage of Meghan Markle that was annulled, that did not work out, could have been because Meghan Markle was very ambitious and she knew that Joe cannot provide, cannot give her what she wanted, which is name, fame and reputation. So she moved on to travel. But then she really got this lottery. Uh, she won the lottery when she duped Prince Harry to marry her. And from that time onward, you see her having kids, having future plan with Harry moving to US making a lot of major major decisions that you would probably not see her doing when she was with other husband Joey and Trevor she in fact did not make any long-term plan with Trevor when the marriage took place it was already seven years of knowing each other so for seven years from 2004 to 2011, Megan made no plan with Trevor to marry him and have a family. I mean, why would you date somebody for seven years if you really love that person? So Megan Markle, she was waiting for the right guy, even though she was married, but she is always looking for something more. And this is why I really wanted to talk to you guys about that. Look, Harry, at the end of the day, looks like to us, he is going to be another victim of Megan Markle. If you have any sympathy, if you care for Harry, if you are thinking what is going on in the whole world, don't be so unwitting. Okay, don't be so unwitting because what we can see from here is very, very plain and clear, which is that she is going to dump Harry right at the moment when she needs to get rid of him. It is just a matter of time. Guys, something very, very interesting and very, very sinister about Meghan Markle that we see coming on the news, we do not know her past, which is very, 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 I should say, uh, bizarre. Because these days, I mean, who doesn't have photos? Who doesn't have text messages or something that other people can see? But for Megan and Joe, there is really no trace of their relationship whatsoever. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video.